Hello guys and welcome to a new video. Today's video will be a Q&A and I asked you on Instagram if you have any questions for me. So I think I'm going to get started because you've actually asked me quite a lot and I really want to answer all of them. So the first question is, what would a perfect day look like for me? And I think my perfect day would be definitely set in Paris. And I think I would wake up in a really beautiful hotel room and then I would go for breakfast at Angelina's and get a hot chocolate and maybe like a croissant or something and after that I think I would go shopping to Chanel and Dior and maybe Louis Vuitton and after that I would go for a little picnic in the Jardin de Tuileries and yeah it's one of my favorite places in Paris and yeah and after that I would just walk around a bit and maybe take some pictures and for like afternoon tea I would go to the Ray and eat one of my favorite pastries which is either the Saint Honorat or the Rose Religieuse and yeah I really really love those two for tea I would get the Marie Antoinette tea and after that I would go to museum I think either the Louvre or the Musée d'Orsay for dinner I would go to Baccarat and after that I would sit down with a bottle of champagne in front of the Eiffel Tower and watch it sparkle and I think that would be my perfect day. Next question is what's been your favorite form of entertainment this summer? And I think the answer to that is definitely reading because I've read so much and I just loved it and I just had the time for it and yeah I just remembered how much I loved reading and I'm honestly reading, reading like non-stop this summer but I also love to watch movies especially like older movies with Audrey Hepburn or Grace Kelly and I think those two are my favorite forms of entertainment. <laughs> the next question is how's life been for you and it's been a little difficult because I was admitted to the hospital I'm not going to name any reasons or go deeper into it I'm thinking of doing a separate video for it maybe I'm not sure yet but yeah and I was a bit worried about myself and my parents and friends were worried about me so that has been a little difficult but apart from that my life has been quite good lately and I'm honestly really happy and I really hope that it stays like that and I also got asked what my favorite Disney movie is and that's also a really hard question because I'm so bad at choosing something but I think my top three have to be The Sleeping Beauty, like the animated movie. I'm not going in any order because it always changes. <laughs> then also Cinderella, but the live action movie. And lastly, I think Beauty and the Beast. But I also really love the Aristocats. And I think those are my top three Disney movies. The next question is have you loved pink all your life? And the answer to that and the answer to that is definitely yes. I love pink since I was like in kindergarten and it honestly never changed. My style changed a bit during I think eighth, eighth and ninth grade. And I also didn't wear pink a lot during like 8th to like ninth grade because I was worried that like people would judge me but I overcome that so and now the only colors I, I wear are pink and white so I definitely overcome that fear. <laughs> Next question is quite difficult because I'm not good at, at explaining things so the next question is I remember your middle name was Ursula Yes, my middle name is Ursula, if you didn't know. And you said there was a story behind it. What is it? So I hope I can explain it, but but it's basically my parents wanted to have a child, I think when they were when they were like 27, but it just didn't work out for them. And when they were 35, they went to like a child wish clinic. I'm honestly not I honestly don't think that's what you call it in, in English. But yeah, if you can't get children or like if it just doesn't work out, then you go there and they are trying to help you. And the and the first name of the doctor there was Ursula. So without her, I wouldn't exist. So my parents thought that my middle name should be Ursula. And I think that 
the name is quite old, but since there's like a reason and like a kind of story behind it, it's not that bad. When did you get your first pair of point shoes? I think I was 12. Yeah, I was like 12 and a half, but my old ballet teacher wasn't that great, so we didn't really do anything on point. So I think I seriously started working on point with 14 or like 13 and a half. How can you balance your academic life and dance life? That's actually also a really hard question because I sometimes don't really balance it really good because sometimes I just get really worked up in like dance and do so much for it that I forget about schoolwork which is really bad and I also want to change that but I already like made a plan how I'm going to do everything in the next year so I hope it's going to be better. <laughs> what do you do? Do you want to study? P.S. I love your account. First of all, thank you so much, that means a lot to me and I don't really know if I'm going to study anything because what I always wanted to do is work like for a fashion magazine but I'm not sure in which department yet. When I'm finished with school and done my A-levels I think I'm going to like a media school where you, where you learn everything about like, about like photo editing and like doing layouts and also video editing which will also be really handy for YouTube. <laughs> And yeah, that's what I'm going to do when I have my A-levels, but I'm not sure what I want to do after that. I'm not sure if I'm going to go to university or not. At what age did you start ballet? I started ballet when I was, I think, three and a half years old, so actually quite young. And I'm really glad that I had the opportunity to start so young and that my parents always supported me with it. But I have to say that I didn't really took it seriously until I was 14, I think. And that's, all, all, that's also when my ballet teacher changed. So I'm still not going to be like a ballet dancer when I'm, when I'm like older. But I just really love it as a hobby and yeah, it just means the world to me. <laughs> what is your favorite ballet outfit to wear to class? I think it's my lilac wear more leotard and the light pink skirt that, that my mom made me or my light pink wear more like leotard and skirt they are like connected so it's like a dress <laughs> and yeah i think those are my two favorite outfits and if you want to see them you can also watch my ballet leotard collection that i will link for you down below what is your favorite girly outfit i think Oh god, I honestly don't know. I have so many outfits that I love. I thought of doing a video with all my favorite outfits, so if you want to see that, just comment it or leave me a like. When did you first learn how to speak English? I was lucky enough to learn how to speak English when I was four, I think. And yeah, like in kindergarten, and that's also why I love English so much. And I also think I can speak it quite well. Of course, I'm not perfect, but who is? <laughs> and yeah, I just really like reading English and watching English movies and also speaking English. So yeah, I'm really grateful that I had the opportunity to learn English at such a young age. Would you ever consider to move to Paris? That's a really good question and I think yes, if I had the money, because I think that it's really expensive to live in Paris. But yeah, I really could imagine living there. I also really want to say that I'm sorry for the lighting, but the light keeps changing and I have to adjust the camera. So it's always like either too dark or it's too bright. So I have to adjust it and it's really annoying. So I'm really sorry for that. So the, the last question is, your best advice for practicing ballet at home and keeping up technique. So I think it's really important to have a kind of routine and always following that routine. So like doing a short bar every morning and then a longer one every evening but another really really important thing is if you can please don't practice ballet 
on like a carpet floor because it really isn't good for your like join, joints and bones especially when you're dancing on point it's really really bad for you so make sure to always practice on like on like wooden floor if you have or even better like a, a special dance carpet like I have for example that you don't slip and you have like a better grip to the floor with your feet and yeah that would be really helpful and please also make sure that you don't practice things that you haven't learned in class because you could do some serious damage to yourself if you do those things and yeah but I think that's everything I can say about that question. So that's it for today's video and I really hope you enjoyed it. If you have any other questions you can of course always uh, always ask me in the comments or write me a message, message on Instagram and I hope you're having a great day and I'm going to see you in my next video.